Alright, last time we returned Professor Bomb's golem to him, so today he's going to teach us how to make golems of our own. And like anything you can build in the workshop, if you know what you're doing, you can make a really good golem. Well, that's nice of you. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Golem, go make them. We're gonna go make a very basic golem today. In fact, I don't even think we're gonna make a golem here. He's just gonna give us the parts for it. Excellent. Thanks for providing freebies for us. And yeah, like anything you can build in a laboratory, like I was saying, you can build really, really, really good golems if you know what you're doing. In fact, a good golem is better than any pet you can raise out of an egg. Hmm. We need three different elements to build a golem. Oh, great. We have to earn... Oh, great. We have to take a test. Awesome. And we can read that book if we want because he is going to give it to us right now. I have not. Oh, well, trick question. <laughs> hmm, a traveling merchant, eh? Well, as long as you're going to get ripped off, you might as well get your money's worth out of it. Hmm, why am I not surprised? Okay, so now we get to read this little book. There are several different things we can read here. There are at least, there's, okay, yeah, well, there's ten pages here of things we can read about golems, and you have to ace the test in order to get through the mission, so you really gotta study up here. So you have all these things here. We can read this book anytime we want otherwise, so we will delve into it further when we, uh, when we actually go to build golems of our own. But these, this gives you the basics of golem building right here. And you can go through and you can look at all of these. That's good to know. And yes, these are just very basic things they're telling you. Like with weapon forging, they just give you the really basic stuff. They don't tell you about any of the intricacies of golem building and how easy it is to screw it up. Okay. And you just go through all these in like manner, studying until you think you've got it down. But today, I admit it, we are going to cheat sheet our way through this thing. So let's go. We're going to look at the palm of our hand and uh, get our way through this test. Alright, and uh, C is always a stupid answer, so you know you won't have to go with C. But you need a body and a block to activate a golem. And anyway, you can uh, you can probably learn what golem basics are all about faster if you actually just go do the quiz. Because it's pretty easy to figure these things out by context. Alright. Question 2. You need weapons and armor. We actually read that in the encyclopedia. <laughs> well, yes. Technically, money is correct, but it's not correct, correct. So, there we go. Yeah, see, you can kind of actually fudge your way through this thing on your own. It's not that hard. And, uh, periodically throughout the test, as you get questions right, you will get items. Okay. That would be the num <laughs> preschool education. <laughs> some of these are some of these stupid answers are fairly funny. This is question five, right? All right, we're halfway through the quiz, so we have two life balls now. We got one more to get. That I believe that's B. Why don't I just look directly at my cheat sheet? Ha ha ha. Uh, let's see, that would be type, not color, or mood. This isn't homeopathic medicine we're studying here. Oh boy, yay, but there are actually more questions, I think. Okay, yeah, we still have more questions then. Okay, that's, that's right. What determines the defense power? Uh, we're on 
I think this is question eight. Okay, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I would like to know how mouth functions, but I don't even know what a sortie is. That's gotta be B. And finally, A. I don't think golems are capable of love, although that would be awesome. And we can uh, dump weapons, armor, and instruments inside that thing to make logic blocks. It's not just easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing in the workshop ever is. But we get the uh, we get the golemology manual now, and I think we might get a few raw materials out of this actually. Well, talk to the jar is a weird way to say that. You can you could search it. That's usually what people say when you press the talk button on something without actually talking to it. Oh, yes it does, but we have lots of things we can sell to make money, so it's not terrible. Jeez. Yeah, you can see how this gets complicated in a hurry. Yeah, it's not fun if you don't know what you're doing, though. Why don't you fiddle fart on out of here, Professor Bomb? You've wasted quite enough of our time already. I didn't think this mission was actually this long. Man, always giving us the bronze, but now we get iron and steel, which are markedly better materials for this kind of thing, but we'll get better raw material when we're out fighting people, particularly later on in the game, but we're not going to worry too much about this whole golem thing right now. It's fun once you get into it, but not at the outset like this. Go to me, will you me? Alright, for mission number two today, we are going to set down the Firefly Lamp, and we are going to put it right to the left of McKiv Caverns to make the town of Lumina. And it takes a while to walk over there because there's nothing really adjacent to it nearby except for the caverns. So we're going to go in today and we're going to, uh, first we're going to check out the shops. Uh, there is some fun stuff to do around here. We're going to do a mission as well, but first we're going to check out the stores because we can buy better equipment here now, I believe. So we are going to go to the... Okay, no, we went to the wrong place. There are plenty of places you can go in around here. We're going to go over to the left. We are going to ignore Capella and Diddle for the moment. It seems they found a new place to play besides Mana Angel Park, though. Kind of takes some time to get around here at first. What's in here? Is this a shop of great input? This is equipment. Okay, good. Well, if we can ever, if he'll ever stop dancing around, old Mr. Modi. Ah, we've got silver stuff here. Yeah, that'll increase my attack just slightly, so I think I will buy that. That's only slightly better than the Jacobini Rock Spear that I made, so let's go around now. And I believe there's also an armor shop here in Lumina, if memory serves. Oh, hey, Mr. Treasure Chest, what's up? Ooh. I'll be keeping that nevermore, probably. Wow. Um, the Sprouling actually said something sensible for once. Now if only he would get out of my daggum way. And I think we're going to have to go actually around to get to this shop. But it should be worth it. Items. Is this the uh, raw material place? Let's see. Yeah, he sells minerals he's mined around here, so we can get more of that from him. Good lord, Obsidian. That sounds pretty good. He's got... Yeah, he's got pretty good stuff. We can't afford Laurent Silver, which is 1500 That's probably going to be the best thing, so we need to uh, sell some things to him. 
Yeah, we got a lot. See, Forbidden Ring right there. That's 3,000. And then... What else we got? We got several Brave Blades. Well, we'll sell a couple of them just to uh, get them out of there. Lorient Spear, that's what we're currently carrying. We don't want to sell any of our metal raw materials. Not yet, anyway. Oh, well. I'm not worried. Okay. We could go just through and just sell everything right now, but I'm going to be a little conservative with what I decide to sell for whatever reason. And I am going to buy three Lawrence Silvers for future equipment making. Now I'm really going to stop fooling around buying things around here. I'll go ahead and forge armor for myself off camera on my own time. But for now, we need to get out of here and we need to go to the other side of Lumina, to the lamp shop. Because we are going to be selling things to people who don't speak English today. Which, you might guess, is probably just loads of fun. So let's head on up. Hey there, Dud Bear. And we are going to go up. Here we are. We are at the lamp shop. Hello, lady. Well, that's no problem. I can do that. No, 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 no. Don't be so hasty. And here is one of my favorite characters in the game. I'm surprised it actually took this long to get around to him. This is Gilbert the Centaur. He is a hopeless romantic. And we will be seeing him a couple times throughout the game, actually. There actually, uh, there's actually a trio of missions. Maybe, maybe two. Two or three missions that actually directly involve him, but they are much later on, and I cannot wait for them. Whoa, 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 buddy. I offered first, sort of. I didn't actually open my mouth or anything. And here we are, Fairy's Light. Now we are going to go around selling these lamps. Well, aren't all romantic, guys? You should give him a chance, Monique. He's a nice dude. So let's talk to Gilbert about selling some of these lamps. No, absolutely not. Uh, no, I will go sell them. I just spent a lot of money on silver, and yeah, there we go. Now we have three lamps to sell. And we are going to run off and do that. And we need to find people to sell to, and nobody is really dumb enough to buy these lamps. They're cool and all, but we need some help selling them. So we're going to go enlist the help of a man over in the uh, square here. Or over at the tavern. He is upstairs. This little man with the puzzle piece head who looks really funky. Yes, we are going to go ahead and learn the Dud Bear language. We're just kind of going to fly our way through it because I've learned the Dud Bear language several times before. Dub is a greeting, also means yes. Dud, no, and goodbye. Okay. Do to you, do to me. Do to everybody. Dub of friends. You have to make friends with the Dud Bears so that they'll actually, you know, believe you and buy your lamps and stuff. Why doesn't Dud Bear mean Dud Bear? Okay. Well, those are very specific, helpful words to know for my particular endeavor. Thank you very much. Do ba ba ba. Well, that's cool. Yeah, you don't ever want them to say gak. Gak means they will not buy your lamp, and you pretty much have to leave town entirely. Like, go back to the world map before they'll forget who you are and buy something from you again. But I don't think we're going to be having too much trouble with that. <sighs> okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, we are in like Flynn. So the first guy we need to go talk to, he is right next to the puzzle guy here. That, I believe, we respond to with no. No. 
And another no. You can trust me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, lots of friends, lots of friends. You and me, yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! And then, once you're in with friends, you go in for the pitch. You twist that knife. There we go. You sell that one lamp. Woohoo! He's happy with his little lamp. Okay, now there's one down by Capel we need to talk to. He's the hardest one of the bunch. I think he's this one right here, probably. No, he's just happy. How about... Eh, well, if he ever lets me through. How about this guy down here? Nope, just him too. How about... He might be the one walking around, actually. Yeah, okay. Ba-ba-ba-da-ba-ba. -ba -ba -ba. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, well, no, not actually, no, no. No, 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 we're not, we're not not friends, I think is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, we're friends. You've met me before. Don't you remember? Dub? Good old Goo Goo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, and then for the win, lamp number two. All right, and now uh, the first one, or the third one, get out of my way, you stupid monkey. Oh my god. Now the third one is pretty much identical to the first one in what you're supposed to say to him. And he is just over here all by his lonesome. That's, that's not very nice. We have to pretty much tell him, no, you don't not like me. No, that's not true. I do like you. That's not true at all. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, we are friends. Why would I just hate somebody that I've never met? That's not very nice. Here, have a lamp. Alright. Now that we've sold our three lamps, what do you have to say? Yes, that's wonderful. I'm going to run far away from you now. Alright, we've sold all our lamps. Let's go back to Gilbert. Yeah, her heart, among other things. I'll show you what true love is. It's about six inches long, and... Aw, uh, what a sweet pet name, actually. I make Gilbert sound like a pervert, but he's actually a very nice guy. <laughs> baby. Shut up, baby. I know it. Aww. Man, he is romantic for reals. But yeah, there's a lot of talking beyond this point. We're pretty much done with our part of the mission. Now it's a bunch of talking. And yes... In case you couldn't tell from her standing behind the counter there, Monique is actually a siren. And that is her song, and it's beautiful. We're just going to hide behind the pillar and let them talk it out. I like to whistle this song sometimes when I'm at work. Just a little. Sure, Gilbert, let's talk about our dreams. That's not weird at all. Ah, loyal fan base, but you're not making any money, huh? Let those dirty, stinky dud bears do the work. Coming to Lumina, stealing our jobs. Kind of, kind of bumming me out here. Like I love you, but I want to have money to do things, you know. Aww. You make me feel as if I'm denying you. <laughs> A rare typo for this game. Usually, this game is so impeccably transcribed and translated. It's weird to see a typo like that in this game. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Backpedal, Gilbert. 
Abort, abort, abort. <laughs> yeah, a little. I'll never forget the way those feathers tickle my... Well, I shouldn't say anymore. And Gilbert leaves town to find a new love. And we should go back in and <coughs> consult <coughs> Monique. Yes, that's what we should do. Anyway. Again, like all good romantics. And I want a much bigger lamp than the little one he has. <coughs> Yeah, I think I, I think I get what you're saying, baby. Remember, he is bottom half horse. Think about what you just threw away there, lady. Oh. Oh, wow, they really like those lamps. Abusive praise from the normally rather stupid dud bears. Yeah. In fact, I think there were some words in there we hadn't even learned from the puzzle guy. But don't worry, I don't think we'll ever have to speak dud bear again. That can be quite a harrowing mission sometimes if you don't actually study and brush up. Yeah, I heard it. All right, I think we get, yeah, yeah, that's a good artifact right there. That's going to lead to some good times, that trembling spoon. But, yeah, Fairy's Light, fun one. Yeah, there's Gilbert and all his majesty. You you rock that loot, Gilbert. There will be a lady someday who appreciates the size of your lamp. Don't worry, there's one out there for you. Dub, 